Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to bring new life to your dead cordless drills. This is a, a Makita drill, quite an expensive one, and I bought many batteries over, over the years for it and they quickly would go dead. So I took the drill apart and soldered um, a connector, a standard Dean connector to this. And these are commonly used for um, people who fly uh, airplanes or helicopters. And here's a 2200 lithium polymer battery. It's 11.1 volts. So you just have to connect this in. Pop this in the drill. Close it. And once again, I've got a drill that works great. This drill um, was originally supposed to have a 9.6 NICAD battery, but it works fine on a lithium polymer battery. One of the great battery. things about these batteries is that they're inexpensive, and if you fly airplanes, you probably have a lot of them around so you could swap them and continue working. And also, these, um, this battery has three lithium uh, polymer cells in it, and this is an inexpensive charger which charges each of the cells individually and gives them an optimal charge. And this gives much more power and makes the battery packs last much longer. This is another one of my Makita drills. It was pretty expensive, about $300. And the batteries are about $60 each. And I had three battery packs, all of them were dead, so I took them apart and I made one pack which still works. But the surprising thing is, when I took it apart, I realized that the batteries the five batteries are in series in that there's no way to individually uh, charge them or balance charge them. So that when you put this pack um, in the supply charger, it simply puts 18 volts across all of the batteries. And that when you do that, you can overcharge one of the cells and uh, destroy the cell. And that uh, dramatically reduces the, um, the life of the battery pack. So when, the, when this pack goes bad, I'm going to replace it with a 18 volt lithium uh, polymer uh, battery and it'll also have a lot more power. This is a 1.5 amp hour while the lithium polymer uh, 18 volts are about 4 amps. So I'll, I'll have a much uh, more powerful battery pack that will last much uh, longer and will also cost less.